eight, nine. You're about to see some of the creepiest moments ever caught on live stream. Welcome back, Charlie here. Twitch can be fun for streamers and viewers alike, but sometimes these streamers get stalked by very creepy or even dangerous people, and sometimes it even happens in their own homes. In 2020, the Twitch streamer I'm Jasmine was walking on a beach in Vietnam. But that's when this eerie man creeps up behind her. The man looks around to make sure no one is seeing what he's about to do. That's when he goes in and sniffs, I'm Jasmine. Nine. The creepy man had been following her for some time, and he topped it all off by sniffing her on camera. Little did he know that thousands of people were watching him do this at the time. Jasmine laughed it off, but it's clear she was very uncomfortable and scared. But sadly for I'm Jasmine, this was not the only time she was stalked on stream. On a separate stream, I'm Jasmine is sitting eating lunch out in the street. It's in public in broad daylight. Hello. That's when a man comes Hello. up and begins to touch her without asking her consent. Oh, oh hi. Hello. Hi. Oh my god, why are you touching me? <laughs> no, no. No, no, go man, stop, I'm sorry, no. She laughs very uncomfortably and tells him to stop touching her, but the man does not listen. That's when things get even worse. The man begins to try and touch her inappropriately. He's so no, whoa, 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 man, stop. Stop. Yo, stop it. No, no, just don't, just don't touch it. Bye. Bye. Jasmine gets visibly annoyed and tells him to stop many times, but the man does nothing but laugh. It's in public and no one even stops this man. Jasmine tries to get away, but the man won't stop following her. After 10 minutes of being stalked, Jasmine enters a store, and thankfully after that, the man finally leaves. But the moment she leaves the store and goes to the other side of the road, another man approaches her. He gets out of his car specially to talk to Jasmine. Jasmine says she's going home and does not want to talk to this guy. According to Jasmine, this is a common occurrence. Later on in the street, she begins to cry because she's so traumatized by the events. She says it's common for people to touch her weirdly or harass her in the street. It's clear she's had enough and has reached breaking point. It happens so much. It's like people like literally harass me in the streets and I'm like it's important that if we ever see this kind of thing in the street, we speak up and stop it from happening. But sadly, I'm Jasmine is not the only female streamer who has been stalked on stream. A similar thing happened to a streamer known as Amaranth. Amaranth was streaming her workout one day at the gym. That's when a man begins to visibly check her out live on stream. The man stares at her very creepily for a few seconds, even though Amaranth expresses no interest in this man. The man doesn't realize thousands of people are watching what he's doing. But this isn't even the creepiest thing to happen to this streamer. One day Amaranth was IRL streaming her supermarket shop. A man can be seen on his phone in the background, but watch closely and you will be shocked at what happens next. The man takes a photo of Amaranth with the flash on. The man clearly messed up and didn't realize he had his flash and sound turned on. He then tries to play it off by taking photos of products on a shelf. Amaranth did not see what had happened, but the thousands of viewers clearly did. Taking these creep shots is very wrong. Not only is it insanely creepy, it's a massive violation of privacy. But unfortunately, this is a problem many women have to deal with around the world. Now, let's look at another very scary stalker caught on livestream. But thankfully, this clip has a good ending. An Australian man named Rob CD was streaming his life in Tokyo. As he's streaming, he notices a woman and a man walking together. At first, he imagines they're a couple, but that's when he realizes something is seriously wrong. The woman keeps giving him a look as if to say, help me. 
and she also walks towards Rob. The woman then says Rob is her friend. Rob then tells the man that he's a friend of this girl despite not knowing her. He read the situation perfectly and realized that the woman was being stalked by this man. Rob tries to tell the man to go away, but he won't leave. Huh. Hi. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Good to see you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's alright. Have a good night, man. Hi. See you. Where from? Australia. Australia. Oh, wow. Yeah. Have a good night, man. So, oh, uh, no, is it fair? Yes, yes, yes. Ah. Uh, yeah, yeah. The girl is clearly very nervous and scared, but Rob's simple and heroic action saved the day. Always be on the lookout if someone looks uncomfortable in the street. Just because they're with a man doesn't mean they're a couple. The woman could be getting stalked just like in this case. But I also have to mention a very scary and dangerous stalker caught live on Twitch. This happened to a streamer named Elia Gatto. She was walking around with a friend on the street, but that's when they notice a creepy man is following them on the street. If that wasn't bad enough, this man has a samurai sword. Oh god, oh god, uh, let's go find your husband! Let's go your husband! Let's go meet your husband! Oh my god, Why? They try to go down different streets, but the man won't stop following them. Thankfully, a man notices their situation at one point and steps in. But even with the guy helping them, the man with the samurai sword won't stop following them. Eventually, the good Samaritan calls the cops. This guy witnessed that. So, has seen that this guy is following us and he's telling us to run to the hospital. <laughs> The man with the samurai sword is soon stopped by police. But it disturbs me how little people came to these women's rescue. They were clearly scared and maybe even in danger. If the man with the sword was not arrested, who knows what could have happened. There's a very good possibility these girls could have been injured or even had their lives taken by this man. Now moving on, we have to look at this very scary clip. In 2020, a streamer named Sushi Potato came across three fans. The fans said they wanted to take a photo with her, but it turns out what they really wanted was a lot more sinister. She was wearing a low-cut top, so put her hand over her chest. But that's when the men demand she moves her hand. She refuses, and that's when they begin to touch her and try and get her to move her hand. These fans are incredibly creepy and way overstepping the line. In 2021, Sushi Potato is talking to a random man on the street. The man asks where she's from and basic facts about her, but that's when things go seriously wrong. The man begins to touch her inappropriately. She gets upset and tells him to go away. Thankfully, she has water to throw at the man to make him back off. This situation easily could have got dangerous or even worse. The scary thing is, the man knew he was being filmed, but didn't even care. It's terrifying what can happen to a woman on a street late at night. But sometimes, Twitch streamer stalkers take things to another level. Take a look at this haunting clip from streamer JD Ann. While streaming live, she gets a phone call from her stalker. At first, the stalker pretends to be her father on the phone, but he then goes on to say that he's not her father. The stalker then says if she doesn't remove her clothing, he will take her father's life. JD Ann is visibly scared and confused. Later on, JD Ann explained the stalker was verbally abusing her on the phone. Jade quickly called her father to make sure he was safe, and thankfully he was. She then called the police to report this stalker. Hopefully, the call can be traced. But this is not the first time Jade has been stalked live on stream. One time, a stalker sent 25 pizzas to her house. And another time, the fire department was called to her house. That's because a stalker wrongfully called up and said her house was on fire. It's terrifying that someone who simply streams games would have such evil stalkers. Jade tries to make people smile with her streams. 
and in return, she gets stalked and swatted. Now, I have to include this clip from the late great streamer, Rectful. One day, Rectful was walking down the street in Japan at night. That's when he notices something strange behind him. There's a creepy masked man following him on the street. Wait, he turned. Wait, he turned. Wait, do I run? No matter where Rectful walks, the man seems to follow him. He even turns around various times, and so does the man. At this point, Rectful realizes the man is absolutely following him, so he begins to run. That's when the man begins to chase after Rectful. Eventually, Rectful yells at the man and asks him what he's doing. I'm running. Man, you know me? Why did you do that? Thankfully, the man in the mask later said it was simply a prank and he's a fan of Rectful. But even so, this is a very scary and nasty prank to play. Thankfully, it was simply fun and games. But as we've already seen here, sometimes streamers can be harassed by dangerous people. I can only imagine what Rectful was thinking in this moment. Finally, let's look at this clip from a Singaporean streamer named Kiera Kitty. Kiera Kitty is filming herself one day on a train, but that's when a man in front of her begins shaking his behind in her face. Kiera is clearly very creeped out by this, but the man only responds in a rude way. This man is way bigger and stronger than Kiera, and it's very wrong for him to behave in this way. But the sad thing is, no one steps in to help Kiera here. I made this video to hopefully inspire some of you guys to step in if you see something like this happening in your life. Even just pretending to be someone's friend and stepping in could save their life. Or prevent them from being touched inappropriately like we saw in this video. No one deserves the terrible treatment these people got. And I think it's safe to say that we all need to look out for our fellow humans much, much more. But now it's time for you to make your voice heard. Comment below which was the creepiest live stream moment in this video. If you want to see more of my videos, then check out my second channel. I've been Charlie, thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, then what are you waiting for? Subscribe! to top 10s.